Hey guys, Nightcrawler here. Oh, let me get you put into the, the spot, you know. Make sure that's there. Okay. Uh, update. On the whole smoking thing. I uh, keep saying that I'm going to do this uh, a week at a time. And I'm just doing it daily. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, I'm going crazy. Um, went and got myself some new juice today. Um, got the, the Midas. Um, same, same brand as the other stuff, uh, Cinnamon Chill, and I went with a, uh, 6040, you know, and, uh, 12 milligrams on the nicotine. Um, noticed, you know, before I, on my glacial, glacier, I have 18 milligrams, and I picked myself up a new tank today. I think it's sexy. Green tip, you know, I got... You can see a little bit of juice in there. Uh, black, black tank, green tip. I don't know, something new. I, I, I don't know. This isn't really necessary, but I, I just when I'm not using them, I just throw my my little extra rubber piece off the cardamizer when you get them on there just to, to protect it a little. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm not really. I tried to drop it down already as far as the throat hit and all that on the, the, the cinnamon chill. It's just not, uh, it's not doing it for me. It, it's, um, that asks for a very strong flavor. I like very strong flavors. I'm not the fruity flavor kind of guy, unless it's a ridiculously strong fruit flavor. Um, I, I really need the, the menthol seems to be doing the, the business. Another thing, um, it's kind of curious, maybe you guys know more about this than I do, you know, uh, I don't really know who watches my videos to be absolutely truthful, but um, uh, another thing I noticed is uh, my ohms, it's, it's constantly changing, you know, my ohms resistance, like right now I'm checking it, and it's 2.8. You know, yesterday or yesterday, I was using the same tank, same juice, and it was 2.3 or something like that. I, I don't remember. I'd have to look at the video, but um, now it's 2.8. So I said, okay, and I, I tried something. I, I jumped up my voltage. I jumped up my voltage a lot. Um, I put it at 5.5. Uh, .5. You know, I, I'm jumped it up to 5.5. Uh, because I tried it because I wasn't getting the, the, the throat hit and the um, and the, the flavor on the cinnamon as I was with the menthol. And I know they're two different flavors. They're obviously going to be different. But uh, like I said, I'm a new vapor, so I'm, I'm a newbie. I, I got to play with this. I got to try it. I got to see what I like, you know, and I don't know. I can't, I can't just watch a bunch of videos and go, oh, well, you know, your ohms resistance is this. You're using this vapor, you know, or this liquid, and you got to set it to this. You know, I, I don't do that. I just kind of fiddle with it until, and that's what I've noticed, is these things are so customizable. I mean, you can mess around with it if you, you know, maybe you, you smoked, you know, Benson & Hedges Deluxe Ultralights. I had a girlfriend that smoked Benson & Hedges Deluxe Ultralights a long time ago. And, uh, you know, you, you could set this up to, to, to vape, so you're just getting that basic, you know, that little, that little tiny hit. Me, I, I, I'm really digging the heavy vapor, and, uh, with this thing at 5.5, <laughs> dude, you get a hit that you're just like, whoa, <laughs> so let me, let me, uh, let me vape it for you real quick, and, uh, <clears throat> I'll show you the, the ridiculous amount of, uh, vapor you get from this. I mean, I, you know, yeah, obviously on the video you can't tell, but I can feel it. You know, maybe it's because I've been vaping the cinnamon all day, just trying to mess around with it. But, uh, and I went, I, you know, toward the end of the night, it's for 4.59 in the morning. So I, I, you know, switched out to my 18 milligrams and maybe that's doing it. But I mean, it, to me, it just seems, it seems harsher. It seems more vapor and more uh, throaty than uh, yesterday, so. I 
I mean, it just, you know, it seems like uh, I, I'm getting a little bit of a warmer sensation. No, a little bit of a warmer sensation with this uh, at 5.5. It's 2.8 ohms. You know, I, I don't know. I've got to mess around with it more. To me, it just seems like, wow, you know, I, I like it. I like it, this setup. Uh, I can't go much higher than that, though. I mean, I'm, I'm going to top out at 6. I'm going to run my batteries in like four hours. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I don't really want to do that. You know, the whole point of this was not to have to switch out batteries every every hour. Uh, like I said, I'm still messing around with it. Just the initial impressions. Uh, we're still really digging it. Now I, I've completely, you know, I got the whole, you know, thing from my wife. She's kind of was looking into it going, well, are these really safe? Or are they, you know, you know, I mean, you're, you're giving up one thing for another and she doesn't know. So she's kind of looking into it and she goes, okay, well, there's a, you know, fruit, uh, Oh, what is it? Vegetable, uh, some liquid crap they, they make the e-juice out of. And, um, she looked at that and goes, okay, well, that doesn't hurt you. And, you know, checking it out. My lungs feel a lot clearer. I'm not getting, I'm not getting the, the wheezing I used to. And it's only been four days, four days. It's, uh, and I'm not getting the wheezing. I used to, when I'd smoke, I, I'd get a wheezing, like, almost the beginning of emphysema. But I'm not getting that anymore. I'm, uh, I can take a deep breath. I, can... I, I just, I don't, I don't feel it. I'm not getting the, the weird sensations in my arm, my left arm. I was getting a lot of that. That was actually what was kind of scaring me a little. Uh, I was getting some weird, uh, pains in my arm when I coughed. Um, my, my, I was seeing spots in my eyes. I was getting weird pains in my arm. I, you know, it was getting, it was getting to the point where I wasn't quite sure where things were going to go, but, uh, I feel a lot better having had those weird sensations. Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm pushing so hard for this for people because I, I mean, this is, it's, it's a cumbersome, it's a little big, it's, it's a little whatever, but I mean... It's a little more hassle you got to carry, you know, before you just had cigarettes and a lighter and now you have to have a batteries and you have to have extra juice and, you know, you tank and this and that and, you know, that's why I'm going to get some extra stuff because I don't want to run the risk of, you know, oh crap, this doesn't work now. You know, oh crap, my battery's dead. I, I got to have backups. I just have to because I don't want to revert back to going and saying, oh crap, well, I'll just go get some cigarettes you know, or I can't make it through the day, so, you know, I really enjoy this, that's why I'm probably going to pick up a couple different sets of the setups, you know, a backup, just in case, you know, we're all about prepping, you know, well, you guys are all about prepping, I'm about buying shit, and I don't know, but, uh, you know, and it's the same thing, you got to have your backups, so, you know, I love backups. I love it. So, uh, yeah, doing pretty good. Um, you know, maybe if anybody actually does know more about this whole... Uh, maybe I got some scratches on my tank or something. It has been bouncing around in my, uh, my little case and I'm carrying it on my side. Um, so that could be a problem. Remember, at 10 minutes, my sound's going to cut off, and I'm not going to know where it is because I'm not looking at the video. So I, I'm kind of looking at the clock, and I think I got about 30 seconds left, 40 seconds, something like that. But, um, yeah, this thing's going great. I, I really, I haven't had an urge for a cigarette. I've still got the two packs of cigarettes in my fridge. Um, I, I actually forgot they were there, you know. I, I'm focusing primarily on this, and... Uh, you know, this, like I said, I, I keep, I keep saying it, you know, it's an initial investment, but it's just like everything else it, and it's going to pay off in the long run, you know, unless you just love this, like I do, I actually am just, I love this. Now it's become more than just trying to quit smoking, you know, traditional cigarettes. It's now I enjoy the, 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 the flavor. I enjoy the, you know, the doing it. I, I,
do, do, do. Anyways, maybe you're there, maybe you're not. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I, I really digging this. Really am digging this. And, uh, you know, I don't get a lot of views on my videos anyways, so I don't really give a damn. <laughs> You know, I, I, I went on this YouTube thing just to throw out videos. I There's some guys out there that do really in-depth videos, like really great videos, and I watch them all, and I love them. I don't do that. I just kind of throw out my opinion. I, I do some half-ass research. So please don't take this, you know, from me as a... Uh, if I if you watch my video and you you know you get an idea, back it do your own research, back it up with something, see if it's going to work for you. Um, because I don't do the greatest of reviews. I, I just don't. I already know that. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to get the, you know, the great camera and the perfect lighting and, you know, I, I don't sit there at the computer and read off all my little facts and go, oh, well, this does this and that does this. You know, I just don't. But, um, yeah, we're doing, doing real good on this. Uh, uh, I really, I actually like these little tanks these cardo tanks uh that's about 32 bucks at that uh vapor uh the vapor lounge where i go and get my stuff um tips are about same tip it's just different colored tips are 10 bucks uh, i'm gonna start screw oh, start screwing around with the, these a little more uh see what setup i really like right now i'm just in the beginning stages and i really don't know what i like i'm just using what i have um seeing what's available I mean you could go nuts trying to you know go through everything it's just like customizing a gun it, it's like customizing an AR you can literally you know think of this tank as a mount for a uh, a light you know there's 50 different mounts for the light not to mention there's 50 lights that go in the mount I mean there's combinations and you know on top of this you can go with you know a protected mod you can go with different size mod you can go with different battery setup you can go with different voltages versus watts you know you you can do anything you want to do you pretty much can do that's just the way this works you know everybody's going for that perfect vaping uh you know experience and I, I guess that's where I'm going. You know, I want the, the heavy vapor, but then on the other hand, you know, I want the heavy vapor, I want the, the flavor, I want that throat hit. But then on the other hand, I might have to give up some of that for reliability. So I, I kind of want that happy medium. Maybe I'll have a, a Genesis atomizer at home with set up on something, you know, and then when I'm at home, I'll pop, 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 you know, or driving around in the truck where I'm not really doing a whole lot. I'm just kind of driving around. But if I'm going to be getting in and out, go and do this, go do that, you know, keep my cartomizers around just for easy access, you know, reliability. But, um... Yeah, sorry I'm a little worked up right now. Um, coffee. It's got to be the coffee. So I, I think I put a little too much sugar in it. <laughs> but, yeah, I put too much sugar in it. But, um, yeah, definitely, definitely liking this. I mean, it's still working out. Like I said, uh, that, that even at the higher voltage, that chill wasn't really doing it for me and I think part of the reason is is because it was at a 12 milligrams or 12 yeah 12 milligrams um I, I guess maybe I just needed to get it at 18 maybe it would have been a little different but all right guys well that's it for now and uh I'll catch you all later you know gotta love it all right, I'll talk to you guys later.